Hello, if you have a phantom vision quad capture, you'll notice that the fisheye lens creates a curved uh, horizon on all your videos and photos you take with it. So I'm going to show you uh, how to use Photoshop to remove that curved horizon and just have uh, a straight horizon and a couple easy steps here. So the first thing you want to do is have Photoshop open. I'm using Photoshop CS6. You are able to do this in earlier versions of Photoshop. Um, so the first thing you want to do is open up your file. I have it right here under recent items, DJI number one. So I'm going to open the video file. And it, as you can see, it opens right up. It brings you a timeline down here. I'm going to skip ahead in the video a little bit so you can see the horizon. So we're about 30 seconds in, and this is looking out over a ice jam on a river. And as you can see, the horizon is very curved. So if we were just looking at an image, you would uh, simply go to filter and lens correction. But if you were to do that at this point, it would just correct this one frame in the whole video. So we don't want to do that. We want it to be all to happen at once. So you want to go over here to your layer, and I'm going to control click on it, and I want to convert it to a smart object. So you click that, turn purple down here in the timeline. It's now a smart object. So now we can go to filter and lens correction. It brings up the lens correction uh, menu. And uh, over here on search criteria, you want to choose your camera. So choose the camera make. I have DJI in my list. If that's not in your list, you can go to DJI's website and download the lens profile uh, specifically for the Phantom Vision camera. So if it's not there, you can go do that. So they give you directions on how to uh, get the profile into Photoshop. So I'm going to click on DJI. And as you can see in the preview here, it did straighten the horizon right out. Knew exactly what to do. You can choose a camera model over here. Um, it's not necessary because there's only one. But uh, click it anyways. And uh, once you're finished in here, you can click OK. And then it did straighten out the horizon to the whole video. I can move my uh, spot, my timeline around. You'll notice it did crop the video, though. It's part of the process uh, to bring it square on the horizon, it's, it does crop it, so you want to be aware of that when you're out there shooting video to leave yourself some space uh, so you can still see the sky once you do crop it. But there's parts of this where you can see it pretty good. So I'll go back to here now. Over here on the layer, you can see there's a lens correction a part of this layer. If I turn that off, it puts it back to um, how it was. You can see the horizon there. It's a drastic change if I turn that back on. It's nice and straight. And it, it looks pretty good. Now, something you want to be aware of is that this PSD file we've created here does not include your video file. It's just referencing that file, so uh, don't save this Photoshop file and assume that it includes your video file, because it does not. So at this point, if you're finished working with your video, you are able to have an audio track down here, and you can adjust the video in here if you choose to. But we can, once you're all set with it, we can go to File, and we can export. We want to render video. So you click that, it will bring up your render menu. You can give it a different name, so I'll just call this straightened. Okay, and over here you can, all kinds of settings. All these settings will be different based on your computer and the codecs your computer has. If you have a Windows computer, you'll see Windows Media options. Um, I have these options here. I'm just going to leave it at how it is for now, and I'm going to say render. And the rendering process in Photoshop will be slower than you're used to using Final Cut or uh, After Effects. It is a, a longer process because uh, Photoshop doesn't have the, uh, the means to use your graphics card and uh, CPU as efficiently as a real photo edit or a video editing software would do. So it'll render your video and export it, and uh, the end product will be a video from your Phantom Vision with a nice straight horizon. So. Hope this is helpful to you, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment and let me know. Thanks for watching.